Oh, come on, Andrews. Let it alone. I bet I woke every stiff up down there. You're high, Andrews. What do you bet? Let's see, uh, that'll be with a couple. I'm out. I'll see you, Andrews. Well, it's me out. Joker gave me a straight. You're pretty lucky. Let's see how lucky you are with your fists. Come on. Come Watch on, it, Andrews. Oh, if I get hit in the wrong place. Oh, what do you mean? I'm not kidding. I've got a bum neck. Oh, come, come on. on. What are you Here's talking about? Picture of hell. No, I've got a very sensitive vertebrae right here. I heard it playing football in high school. Oh, come on. That was years ago. Yeah, you're breaking my heart. I spent two weeks in a bed paralyzed because of it. Well, it sure doesn't stop you from winning at poker. No, that's the second time you've drawn the Joker. Yeah. Well, that's a perfect card for me. We're back to back, same breed, Joker and me. Bradley, the practical Joker of Newspaper Row. At other people's expense. Uh, no, you're unfair to me. You all are. You can't deny that you live only for a laugh. Well, you're what? a laugh. Well, why not? Life is one big joke from the day you're born. Fate gives you the unexpected hot foot, puts a sneezing powder in your bouquet of roses, and I just go along with it. You're high, Dave. Check. Check. Likewise. Oh, hiya, Pop. How are you, Pop? Well, what's happening downstairs, Pop? I, I, I wondered about my story, Dave. Oh, it's going to be in the paper tomorrow. Two columns spread, Pop. Ah, uh, that's real nice, son. I ain't never had any of you newspaper people to hardly ask me a question, much less write about it. You got me. a pair, Dave. Yeah, what do you do? Oh, well, let's see. That's, um, that's worth two bucks. Let's make it five. Come on. Say, Pop, maybe Dave's story will help you keep your job. Huh? I didn't catch that. Maybe Dave's story will help you keep, you keep your job. job. Oh, <laughs> sure, I hope so. Some people say that they should have retired me five years ago, but I need this job. My wife, she's so sick, four or five. I've lost count operations, and my retirement pay is so little. I... Well, thanks again, Dave. OK, Pop. Let's see who's best. Well, let's see. Well, you must be thick to waste two columns on Pop Henderson. What do you mean? You made an interesting story. Hearts and flowers, Pop Henderson partially blind, partially deaf, totally dumb. Or Pop Henderson, who's cataloged the dead for so long he feels closer to them than he does the living? Is that the way you wrote it? Is that okay, okay, I've had enough. Oh, come on. Dave. No, so long, fellas. All right. So long, Dave. So long. Well, that kind of broke up the poker game. Yeah, I guess that's it. Gentlemen, let's pay a visit downstairs to the morgue. Huh? Pop Henderson, a man that gives me inspiration. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. It's uh, cooler down there, anyway. <laughs> Come on. Fellas. Hi, Pop. Taking a snooze, Pop? Yeah, I get kind of drowsy about this time of night. We've uh, come to ask you a favor. Oh? We want to look at number six. Oh, that's the strangulation case that come in today, ain't it? Uh, yeah, that's the one. We just got a tip. Might be a real scoop, Pop. Yeah, headline stuff. It, it's that missing New York banker. You don't say him? Mm-hmm. Well, what about it, Pop? Can we see him? Sure. Come on. Number seven. No, no, number six. Oh, of course, number six. Yeah, here it is. Good old number six. Come on out. There you are. Oh, you've got your refrigeration working overtime, Pop. No, it's always that cold, below freezing. It looks like the banker. How about it, gentlemen? Yes, yes, it certainly resembles him. Yeah, that chin. One in a million. Oh, yeah. It fits the description all right. Mm -hmm. uh, Morgan, uh, why don't you go along with Pop and get the folder on this gentleman? Sure. Uh, Pop? All right, Mr. Bradley. Ah, uh, let's see. Number seven. No, no, number six, Pop. Oh, of course, I know. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Oh. There you are. Uh, now, wait a minute. Let's make sure we're right here. Uh, no, this isn't a strangling case. This is a gunshot accident. It is? Yeah. Oh, my 
Those are really bad. No, this is the right one, Mr. Morgan. It is? You can forget about it, Pop. For why? Bradley sent a check. I know we made a mistake. Oh. So you can put number six back to bed if you want, Pop. Mm -hmm. Come on, Morgan, let's go up and play a few more hands. Yeah, all right. Uh, where, where, where's Mr. Bradley? Well, he went on home, Pop. Oh. Well, I'll put number six back to bed. Okay, good night, Pop. Good night. Good night. He's alive, ain't he? You're crazy as a coot. He's frozen stiff and dead as a mackerel. Come on, see for yourself. He's frozen, all right. But I'll swear he sat up and talked to me just a few minutes ago when Mr. Bradley... Bradley? What about him? Mr. Bradley was here looking at number six. Oh, he was, was he? I'm getting sick and tired of your inefficiency. We'll see what the captain says about Something this. Something wrong, Sergeant? Well, you would know, would you? Would know what? Well, I thought you went home, Mr. Bradley. Some cut-up, huh? Now, Sergeant. The Joker from Funnyville. But what's Mr. Bradley got to Don't do with... Don't you know when you're the patsy for the oldest gag in a police station? You mean it was Bradley who... Yeah, in eight, not six. Oh, I, I don't see so well. Oh, no, Sergeant. Can't you take a little joke? No, I can't. I've got more important jobs to do than to chase around because of your stupid jokes. So stop wasting my time, Bradley. As for you, Pop. Oh, I'm sorry, Pop. Pop didn't realize it backfire. No, we didn't mean to hurt you. <laughs> Shut up, Bradley. Oh, look at the old man. How can you laugh? <laughs> Why not it work? They did <laughs> Pop, I'm sorry. I. No, that's okay. <laughs> No, it isn't. We'll make it up to you somewhere. Yeah, it was a dirty trick. Good night. Oh, Good night. now, wait a minute. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I, I hate guys that can't take a joke. I still don't understand. You thought it was a stiff at number six and it was me at number eight, you see? The Sarge guessed it right away. Express City Desk. He's right, the Sarge. Hello, Express City Desk. Joe, this is Bradley. Everything's quiet. Has the paper gone to bed? Okay, I'm leaving. What, am I going home? That's a joke. What home? No, no, don't look for me until tomorrow night. So long, Pop. Mr. Bradley, I may have to resign because of your joke. Oh, no, not a chance, Pop. Nobody wants an old man who gets all mixed up. And if I do have to resign, what am I going to do for money for my wife and Quit she... complaining, Pop. The sergeant cools off and doesn't cause me trouble. Don't you ever play another joke on me. Now, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I wish I could have seen your face when I sat up and groaned. You've had your joke, Mr. Bradley. Now, leave me alone, please. Ah, uh, no, Pop. You're the perfect patsy for a guy like me. You're my little pigeon. <laughs> pigeon. <laughs> 